Welcome to Money Matters. My name's David Kroll, and I'm uh, the senior loan officer in the, the Southeast for Mortgage Network. Uh, and we are the largest provider of, of uh, residential home mortgages uh, uh, throughout uh, this part of the world. Uh, very proud of that fact. Um, I'm going to start today's uh, 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 segment, my segment uh, today, with uh, a description of what Mortgage Network does and how it relates to some special insight that, that we have, that I have, into the growing uh, income inequality uh, that we see uh, in our society at large. Uh, Mortgage Network is, uh, as I say, the largest provider of residential mortgages. If you own a home and, uh, and you have a mortgage, then Mortgage Network is, uh, is, the, is the company of choice of the largest number of people in this part of the world uh, for your mortgage. If you're buying a home or you're buying a second home or you're buying an investment property, uh, we, are the, we are the preeminent uh, provider of mortgages. Uh, for the past uh, 13 years, we've been uh, the number one mortgage company, voted the number one mortgage company by the uh, Hilton Head Monthly. And I think for the last 11 years, we've been uh, voted the number one mortgage company by the Island Packet. So our credentials are strong. Up and down the east coast of the United States, uh, we have 30 offices and uh, last year, we in 2017, we did approximately three billion. That's with a B, uh, three billion dollars uh, in mortgage business. So, we absolutely know what we're doing. Uh, we see a lot of people, uh, and we do a good job at it. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, not an. Uh, ad campaign for Mortgage Network. This is to simply set the stage for the next uh, topic, which is income inequality. Because we see so many people, uh, uh, we have a, a, a unique insight into uh, where uh, uh, household incomes actually are uh, in the low country. The low country is uh, uh, a pretty good indicator. It's a, it's a strong economy. Uh, the Hilton Head, Bluffton, Beaufort County, uh, and now Jasper County economy is, uh, is a pretty good uh, petri dish, a pretty good test case uh, for the economic uh, activity going in, uh, ongoing in the country at large. It's a, it's a good indicator because it's an area of growth uh, so there's no special circumstances that are holding it back. Um, it's a, a thriving, growing economy. Uh, the uh, uh, administrations uh, in the administration's uh, governorship and, and administrations uh, in South Carolina have been pro-growth uh, for uh, at least the last couple of decades. and. Uh, and that reflects itself in a lot of economic activity. What we find is that some national statistics are very much present in our daily lives as, uh, as mortgage bankers. Remember, as mortgage bankers, what we look very closely at when uh, someone comes to us for a mortgage, we look very closely at uh, four major variables. We look at the property, that they're wanting to buy. Is it, a, is it a good value? Is it in good condition? Is it uh, a mainstream property or is it extremely unique? Uh, we don't like lending on tree houses and uh, uh, log cabins and uh, uh, out of the ordinary properties as much as we like lending on mainstream property. So the, the property, the value of the property, the condition of the property, and the uniqueness of the property are all very important to us. So that's one variable. The second variable is the credit of the person. Uh, 
uh, over, the, over their history, whether it's a short history just coming out of college or whether it's a long history, uh, someone who's 75 or 80 years old and borrowing money. Uh, we look closely at uh, whether they have been able to repay on, a, on according to terms, repay money that they've borrowed in the past, whether that be student loans or credit cards or automobile loans or mortgages. Through a very extensive credit port report, we look at whether or not they've been able to uh, repay the money in the past according to terms. Uh, that's the important thing. In other words, have, have the payments been timely and, uh, and according to the original agreement. So that gives you a credit score. That's an important variable. Then we push that aside. The third major variable is is liquidity. And now this starts to get interesting. Uh, the liquidity test is how much you can, easiest way to put it is how much can you make as a down payment? How much money have you got in the bank? How much money can you lay your hands on? Uh, the uh, liquidity test is an interesting one. 50%, 50% of all clients uh, of all citizens in the Low Country uh, would find difficulty writing a check today for more than $500 for any purpose. 50%, one out of two. 70% of all uh, households in the Low Country are living paycheck to paycheck. 70%. In other words, they are waiting for the next paycheck to pay the bills uh, and the costs and the, the cash needs of the, of the household uh, for the coming week or the coming two weeks. Uh, so those are, those are huge numbers. Uh, the fourth variable is debt to income. Uh, what is your income versus what are the uh, a absolutely committed, legally committed obligations that must be paid out of that income? So. Uh, if you're uh, making, as a household, uh, $48,000 uh, a year uh, and you have $4,000 of gross income, uh, that's $4,000 of gross income after taxes, after payroll taxes, after uh, uh, every deduction of, of uh, FICA and Medicare and so forth, after everything comes out, uh, you probably uh, have a net check that is not 4000 but is closer to 3000 Out of that $3,000, uh, you must pay all of the obligated costs, your rent, your uh, existing mortgage, your automobile payment, your uh, credit card uh, monthly payments, your utility monthly payments. These are all pretty much cast in stone. What's left is the discretionary spending for food, gasoline, uh, walking around, money, clothes, uh, entertainment, and so forth. What is extraordinary is that over the last 20 years, the gap between the folks who are in the upper 10% of citizens in the low country and those who are at the lower 90 percent, the gap has gone, has grown by 27 percent. Uh, 27 percent more money to the upper 10 percent, 27 percent less money to the lower uh, 90 percent. And that gap intensifies as you get uh, toward the lowest uh, 10 percent versus the uh, highest 10 percent there's about a 10 to 1 ratio. Uh, so if a household in the lower 10% uh, has $25,000 of household income, uh, the upper 10% has 250000 of uh, household income. So that gap is widening, and uh, we are seeing it reflected in, in everyone's daily budgets. Uh, it's an extraordinarily interesting topic, and I'd like to return to it. Uh, next week and the week thereafter. So budgets, economic trends, 
and how they reflect themselves in the low country. That's the topic. This is David Kroll saying goodbye for Mortgage Matters, for, excuse me, for Money Matters, uh, and we'll see you next time. <music>